want to jump right into it, and uh, I've got something that's really, really important, and I want everybody's help with it. Anybody uh, that is a parent or not a parent, if they have any ideas for this, it's very important. It's very imperative to my sleep that I get some help with this. And I, if anybody can help me with this, I'd appreciate it. Uh, here's the deal. Uh, my five-year-old son and my almost two-year-old son, we're trying to put them in the same room. My youngest was in a crib until about a week and a half ago, and now he has his own bed. My two boys, they have their own beds, and we put them in the same room. And my youngest does not want to stay in his bed. He wants to get up and play. No matter how tired he is, he wants to stay in his bed. And then the other one, they, he starts playing too, and then, you know, it's a crazy thing. You know, I've, the last three nights I've been getting up um, like nine times probably before. I do work at 3 a.m., well, 3.30. And so getting up nine times between 10.30 to, you know, 3 gets a little rough. You know, it's rough sometimes. And I don't want my wife to have to do it because, you know, she works a full-time job and she's nearly, you know, nine, nine months pregnant. So that's not cool. You know, I feel like I can rest during the day, so I should get up and do it. And I don't really have a problem doing it. It's just the fact that if anybody out there has any tips on how to keep your, you know, kids in bed, let me know. And, you know, he just gets up. He's not really being, you know, crazy. He's just, you know, playing. He just wants to play. But it's time for bed. It's time for sleep. For me. So if you can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll give you a tip. If you can give me a tip. For any young parents out there or parents to be, I know a lot of people commented on my last video saying they're about to be parents and for the first time. This is what I did to get my son potty trained when he would put him in underwear or out of diapers, my oldest. I told him he had these Spider Man underwear and I told him, Spider Man doesn't want you to pee on him. He doesn't like it when you pee and poop on him. So don't pee and poop on Spider Man. And like that next day, he didn't want to pee on Superman's face or poop on his face. So. He automatically, you know, started. It was it was really quick. And so, little tip out there: get him some character underwear they like for the guy for the boys. I don't know the little girls, little undies. I don't know. I'm gonna find that out. I might need your help on that later too. But uh, anyway, so that's your tip. Help me out, please, please. Ooh, PS3 comes out today or came out today. Um, if anybody wants to buy me a you know a early Christmas present, anybody out there? I'll accept it. Uh, I can't buy it. I won't be able to buy it probably till next year. So if anybody out there wants to buy me a PS3, <laughs> I will take it. Yes. As a gift. <laughs> Please tell me that I'm not the only one that's heard about this cat dog thing. In Brazil, a dog mated with a cat, and the cat had dog-ish cats. Cat dogs? Like the cartoon? Here's a picture, and look at the, I mean, there's, they're dogs, but they're cats, and that is so, that is, it's creepy. It's creepy, but so cool. So cool. How cool is that? But sadly, the ones that look more like cats died. That's sad. That is sad. I just noticed after that picture came up that there wasn't just a cat and two puppies in the picture. There's actually four puppies in the picture. I didn't notice that before. But I want to tell you guys about something now, real quick. Uh, a movie that one of my uh, good friends, best friends, told, t uh, turned me on to. It's a movie called Old Boy. And it's a Korean movie. And the one I saw had subtitles, but he got a dubbed version. And I don't know. He got it from the library or something and watched it. But it's called Old Boy. And it is one of the best movies I have ever seen. And not and if you like twists, you'll love this movie. You have to check it out. See if you can find it. Old Boy. But... Not just the movie and the twist, so to speak, but everything. The cinematography was amazing. The angles, the way everything was put together, I, the acting was brilliant. And I was only reading it, you know, to see the, the, some of the acting. I, it's unbelievable. Anyway, check it out. I just wanted to tell you guys about it. If you've never heard about it, check it out. I'm at 500 subscribers now. I'm at 502 as of making of this video. And I want to thank every one of you. That's awesome. You guys are awesome. Hit the 500 mark. That's awesome. I'm going to say it again. Awesome! Thanks to some very cool people. Some very awesome people at YouTube. And one of them is Paper Lilies. She got me quite a few subscribers lately. And I want to thank you, Paper Lilies. But I want. she said something in one of her videos about, I wonder how much he prepares. I'm talking to myself. I wonder how much he prepares for doing his videos. Well, I tell you what, Paper Lilies, almost everything in my videos is 100% improv. 
I write down some little notes, and I, I have some notes actually of today's. I worked on three videos today. This is the third one, the last one. But uh, this is I did this at work. This is kind of my um, my little scratch pad at work. And as you can see, um, basically it's like let's see, let's pick one out of here. Um, well, let's just do the the, the blog. Uh, PS well, PS3, Ethan sleeping, puppy cats, and old boy. And that's basically what I do. I write it down and then I talk about it. And it works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. But so paper lilies, that's how much I prepare for my videos. But the big 500, I want to do something special. I want to thank all of you. I want to do something special. So give me your ideas of what you think I should do for 500 subscribers. You guys pick it and I will do it. That sounded weird, but you know, as long as in reason, in reason, I will do it. So throw me your ideas. You guys seen this blend tech videos that was featured recently? They were featured. Uh, does it blend? Can it blend? Wait, what's it say? No, will it blend? Yeah, let me. There we go. Yes, will it blend? And I, you know, I watched one of the videos and I was like, that's you know stupid. But then I started thinking that is actually pretty funny because you watch the guy when he's holding the the blender, he looks very fearful on many of them. If you watch, he is like scared to death that whatever's inside there's gonna come out and destroy his face and body with shrapnel of golf balls and, and the marble one is really funny because after he blends up the marbles he puts it into the you know on the table and then as he's holding the marble blended stuff there's like dust flying out and he goes now that's that's blended blended marbles that's glass dust don't breathe that in but then it says don't try this at home so why would you breathe it in but he says don't breathe that in oh my gosh what are these people doing with these things these blenders are unbelievable Blintech. Check it out. I'm sorry, I don't know what was it all. I'm losing it. Um, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, actually, uh, the UFC is tomorrow night, and I usually make picks in my videos of the week of when I make them, but, you know, I get a lot of backlash saying, you know, you picked the wrong ones and you're dumb. Shane, you're dumb because you don't know how to pick it. I know MMA. I just... And wrong, okay? Well, tomorrow I'm uploading a special video. Somebody emailed me and asked me uh, to do something. And so check it out tomorrow. My picks for UFC and a special type of video. And a lot of cool stuff coming up. Question answered, Insane Shane is coming up. The questions that you guys sent in to me, I'm going to answer them real soon. And um, all kinds of stuff coming up. So uh, thanks for watching. And one week from today is the deadline for the spoof contest. Get your submissions in. It's going to be a lot of fun. The music deadline is also that day. So if you want to send in your theme song for me, please do that. So it's a week from today. So good luck to everyone, and uh, see you later. <laughs> Sayonara. Come on, everybody. Can't we all just get along and let bygones be bygones? And, well, that's the end of my story, Doc. Can I be helped?